Hello, my dear Pisces. It's uh, Encoding Shaman Peacemaker. And uh, you guys, I am going to be doing a very thorough reading for you. I'm going to be doing a reading for the month of December about your person in question. The person that you're interested in and that you are in love with or just wanting to know uh, if someone is about to come in or this is what I'm going to be doing here uh, for you. And uh, then I'm going to be doing an extended reading where we really go into it. Uh, your person, I want to know a lot more about this person. And I want to know what's in his, their mind, in their heart, in their soul and body. And uh, how they're lusting for you. And so this is uh, what I'm going to be doing today. But first of all, we have this reading and uh, I'm going to be doing this very thorough just as well for those of you who's not wanting the extended readings. So don't you worry, right? I'm shuffling um, the ancestors, angels and ancestors ca oracle cards here. They're right here and you can see me shuffling them because I actually did put up a Christmas ornament on the table. So now I'm going to pull you down. <laughs> so here we go. And then you can see what's going on. Pisces. I want to know about my Pisces and their person's energy. Please, Spirit, just please let me know about their person's energy. Seer. All right. Okay. So what's going to happen right now is I'm going to be channeling this card here. Hmm. So... Please, Spirit, give me some words about mm, Pisces and their person here. Okay, so what I'm getting is your person is ev evolving right now. They are evolving and they are... Um, I'm getting the word manifesting, um, what it is that they want. I feel like they actually do now have a good grab on what it is that this relationship is about and what is supposed to evolve as. And... Um, yeah, definitely... Um, seeing a future with you or just fantasizing about a future or considering a future um, yeah hmm okay please let me get a card for Pisces I want to know about Pisces and their energy right now give me a card for Pisces Give me a card for Pisces. Pisces December spirit, please. There we go. The hunter. <laughs> Track down your fears uh, and desires. Okay. Ah, so many uh, divine feminines, if you are a divine feminine. But so many divine feminines are like, come on. Get moving, all right? Do, do you need me to to, to uh, hunt you down? <laughs> all right, so um, this person is uh, still evolving, still... Mm, I feel like having a lot of emotions towards you, but they're not showing them because they're not ready to... Uh, strip the facade off you know um, so but they are actually considering you a lot thinking about you a lot and um, trying to figure out a future how a future would be like with you okay and uh, yeah I'm I'm getting uh, I'm getting that you are a little bit fed up, a little bit fed up with how slow they're taking it, and you're like, 
come on. Um, so an energy within you, ha you're beginning to feel like, you know, do I even want this anymore because it's taking too long and, you know, if this is right, then why, what are you waiting for? What the hell are you waiting for? I'm ready, you know, I'm ready to go out there and hunt you down. I'm just, I don't need any more time. But you're like, mm, uh, okay. Uh, so let's see, what's going on here with the past? What's going on in this person's past? Please, Spirit, uh, Pisces person, what is going, what went on in the past with between them? Um, okay, so, wow, I have two cards here. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> the lovers and heartbreak. It's like very fast. So the lovers, uh, you are definitely... Um, They felt love. They felt love um, towards you, like really instantly, very uh, in a fast way. But then something happened, and a choice was had was a sh a, yeah, a choice had to be made, and then someone left the other one, or something. It it it, it couldn't happen. Something it, it wasn't. It just couldn't so it could you know for some reason in their life they had to withdraw or you had to withdraw and felt like heartbreak someone felt the heartbreak okay so what's up with your past uh, Pisces what is up what happened to for you in in your past with it, in this relationship Give me a card spirit for Pisces and Pisces energy here. No. Okay, I got two cards, but they're saying one of them. Yeah, nine of cups. I thought enough. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a Danish <laughs> way of saying uh, <laughs> I thought enough. <laughs> Oh, anyway, uh, that means um, I knew it, <laughs> okay? So, Nine of Cups. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, so did they have to leave you? Because I feel like you were abandoned in a sense here. Um, right? No, what? I'm hearing the word abandon. Okay, so it's because I get confused by this Three of Swords energy here. So, no, Nine of Cups is not abandonment. It's about something, wishes coming through, abundance coming into your life. All right, but still... You know, um, <laughs> it's n unsure. It's like, is this even possible? It's a question mark. I'm, I'm getting a question mark. So that's why the abandonment came in, the energy of that, because it happened. Someone was abandoned here in the past because it was like, yeah, it looked perfect it did look perfect it looked like the biggest wish i ever had came true here and then uh, something happened that sort of made it be undone that's what i'm getting here so let's uh, talk about your present the present what's going on with your person's uh, emotions right now presently uh, pisces persons here in the present, please, Pisces person. Please give me Pisces person. Yeah. Eight of Wands. All right. So they're wanting to come forward. They're wanting to join you and come do something. They're, they're wanting to say something really fast or surprise you with something. They're wanting to come in. 
So this is definitely what I'm getting from this energy here. And, uh, and your present, how does that look, Pisces? What does that look towards them? Pisces, present. The five of wands. All right, so there is a competition. There could be a third party relationship here with the three of swords. And I think it's right that the three of swords is meant to be put here in the middle. Okay, because, um, yeah, this is uh, definitely, uh, and, you know, a third party could be a person, a human being, it can be a state of consciousness, it could be uh, an environment, it can be um, something that they have committed to, okay, in all sorts of ways here. Okay, so and that's what Pisces is sort of up against, feeling like they have to compete with something, someone else or some, you know. And uh, I want to know now, what are they feeling about you? What are they feeling? What are they feeling? Please, uh, Spirit, let me know what this person, Pisces, is having in their life. What are they feeling about you? What are their feelings, spirit? Six of wands. All right. So uh, it could be a success coming together with you. All right. So um, a very uh, victorious energy. It's like they're wanting to bring in good news towards you. They're wanting this to be a success. Okay. Uh, so um, whatever it is that they are, yeah uh fighting here you guys are fighting all right so i want you i want for some something for you as well what are you feeling what are your feelings towards your person right now the knight of wands all right <laughs> we have the hunter uh, is energy up here and then we have the knight of wands energy so both of them are very uh fired up like i'm coming in i want to come in and just uh tell you what needs to happen here um because i'm i'm so um i'm free spirited um I'm, i am and i i know what i want and that's you you know so so your feelings are to just go ahead and do it and then we have in the bottom here the Ace of Cups. And I, where does this belong, Spirit? Please tell me. It's in the middle as well. There is love between you guys. You just, you feel love. You feel love for them. You really do. All right. So, uh, and what are they um, thinking about doing? This person of, of, of Pisces. What are their actions? What are they contemplating um, of doing? What are they thinking of doing here? So they get the moon. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they're going to wait a little longer. <laughs> they are, uh, even though there is love. And um, okay, so... Um, But I'm really seeing that they're wanting to continue this path towards you. All right. So, yeah, this is what I'm definitely getting here. And uh, what actions are you wanting to take here? Uh, Pisces, what is, you know, what are you about to do? What are you about to do? The magician <laughs> all right so you you're you're wanting to manifest this it's like hell no i can create whatever i want i want this and i'm going for it i'm definitely going for it okay so um wow this is um 
uh, very, very beautiful uh, energy that you have because you know what you want and they're like, what? Yeah, but I can't hurt that person or I can't leave this situation or whatever it is that's going on in their life. And you're like, come on, you know you love me and there is love between us. Okay, so I want to know now for the, from the true uh, love confessions, uh, my new cards, I just made them. So I'm not using these um, homemade uh, printed out cards anymore. So, um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to be using them right now. What are the Pisces person's feelings towards Pisces? I can't live without you yeah just on top of the lovers card yeah so they do absolutely have feelings for you and i'm afraid of hurting you okay yeah if there is a third party relationship energy so of course they're afraid um i'm not sure about where this is heading yeah, I did see the two pentacles cards stick out in the, from the tarot a few times. So they're still mm, trying to make a choice. And the lover's card is also making a choice, you know. So um, I get completely out of balance when you're around. That means that they are so attracted to you. So they're like, and then I feel like they have some sort of guilt um about being with you um <laughs> so um any more cards spirit messages from your person <laughs> yeah so they get out of balance because of the way they feel about you but also um the way they feel about another situation that's going on in their life so this, they feel guilty, perhaps, or they feel just uh, uh, confused, or they're trying to maintain balance. That's what I'm getting here. All right. So that's what, and they're not sure about what that this is heading it's because, yeah, uh, it's uh, there is other factors involved here. Uh, I have to heal, but I do love you. I see the way you shine. You are an angel. Wow. So uh, most definitely um, I'm testing your sustainability. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, I, uh, I don't like that card because, you know, um, if they see you shine and think you're an angel and and they love you you know it's just uh don't test pisces here all right i just want to i just want to back pisces up here and i'm like saying to pisces person don't do that you know don't test their sustainability they uh don't deserve that all right so um and if you want to test someone's sustainability, it has to do with your own um, lack of self-worth. So you should try and start fixing that and try to figure out what the hell you want. All right. So I'm getting a little mad on Pisces behalf here. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Okay. One more card, Spirit, from Pisces person, please. The... I can't stop thinking about you. All right. Nope. So, <laughs> okay, Spirit wants me to take this one. Even though I might have let you believe in us, I will never be available to you. So, um, not ending up on a good note here, you guys. So, I see there is lots of love here. Um, but, um, they're stuck in a situation. 
I really can't wait to to move more deeper into this because this reading is oh it's not done now all right but um uh I, I what i'm seeing here is that they're back and forth and they are imagining a life with you they're loving you they're liking you they are an angel to them but something is holding them back they are uh, not able to see themselves out of that situation right now and so they're like i I I'm not available where I am in this situation where I am right here right now okay so I really want to know a little bit more a lot more about this person and I'm going to be using mm, my new cards the divine masculine to uh, clarify this person's uh, traits and behavior so and we're going to be using the tarot the sexual magic and asking about their, what's going on in their mind, in their heart, in their body, and uh, in their soul, and uh, and what is sort of their hopes and fears, and what is influencing their life, and what's the result of all this, and be pulling lots and lots of more clarifying cards for from messages for, for you. All right, so um, because I got new cards, I got the right white rose guidance also here. So, and uh, my own true love, and also I have the divine timing oracle cards. So if um, we need to use them, we do it. Not all of the um, astro ast astrological signs have been needing these um, divine timing cards, but you know, if you need them, then we will take them. All right, so this is what I had for you, Pisces. And um, well, thank you so much for watching. I really wish you a beautiful December month here. And um, yeah, I really hope that um, you will find love <laughs> at least within yourself here uh, and uh, be able to give uh, the love that you feel for this person to yourself um, and have that eternal love that you actually were existed from grow within in this December month here all right so um, even though whatever they decide all right so um, I wish you a happy December and always wish you the best and lots of love all right so thank you so much my dear for watching and um, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.